New at 6 on 13 ABC Action News, it appears a mother and her teenage son were shot and killed over a bottle of whiskey. The double murder trial of Jordan Patton got underway today, and 13 ABC's Alexis Means was the only television reporter in the courtroom. She's live with the new developments tonight. Alexis? Well, Lee, the suspect's lawyer says this is a case of mistaken identity, but prosecutors disagree. They put a man on the stand who claims he witnessed the deadly shooting. The 25th of November last year. 30-year-old Lawrence Elliott told the court he saw Doran Patton shoot and kill Veronica Serrano and her 14-year-old son, Timothy Blair. Elliott says he was walking down Page with Blair's older brother, Gary, when he says Patton robbed them. He hit Gary with the gun, and then he put the gun towards me and robbed me for two shots of Jim Beam that was left in the bottom. The prosecutor demonstrated how Patton supposedly used the shotgun. Elliot's ex fiance and her co worker drove up and witnessed the robbery. The prosecutor played the 911 call. Police were sent to the scene to look for the robbery suspect. Actually, in Veronica, have we seen a man carrying a sawed off shotgun that was dressed in all black and we both don't know? Why did you do that? Because I thought it was done and over with because he was gone. Prosecutors say Gary Blair's mother was scared for her family, so she asked Elliot for these pocket knives so she and her younger son could walk to the store. Officer Tanya Farrell was working off duty at a carryout when Serrano and her son came in crying. She told me that a black male dressed all in black robbed her son. Elliot told the court when Veronica and Timothy returned home from the store, he says Patton showed up at the house and words were exchanged. He Shot both of them right there on the porch. Elliot admits he lied to detectives. As of that night, I told him that I didn't know anything because, you know, the guy he was still on the streets. He eventually ID'd the suspect. Patton's lawyer says Elliot was drunk and this is a case of mistaken identity. And that he was wearing black car heart. Correct. And that he was also wearing a black, he had a black hoodie up over his head. Is that correct? Correct. Now, Elliot told the court he does not know the suspect. Now, it appears the murder victims were innocent and the bullets were meant for someone else who lived at that house. Reporting live, Alexis Means, 13ABC, Action News.